Welcome to another video. Um, this video is pretty new for me. I've never done one of these before, but someone requested that I do a, um, a perfume collection video. And so I'm going to show you the ones that I do have. I was meant to film this quite a while ago, but I was waiting to get my favorite perfume. And I still haven't gotten it. So I'll tell you at the end which one that is. But I'm just going to go through the perfumes that I have here. Um, I'm probably going to list them. I'm going to go through the list according to... I'm going to start with the ones I like the least and then move on to the ones that I like the most. So the first couple of ones are going to be like my not so favorite ones. And then like the last couple of ones are going to be my favorite. And then at the end I'll tell you my favorite one. So yeah, if you want to see my perfume collection then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm basing my like for the perfume um on how much i reach for it so my least favorite one is this jennifer lopez one my dad got me this one um i think someone at his work was selling perfume um i think about there's another one of these that my dad got someone at his work was selling perfume and he was supporting them but this was jennifer lopez i remember precisely even though it doesn't say on the box it was jennifer lopez And it's got a very masculine um, smell. Actually, it's a very strong smell with like a sweetness to it. Okay, I'm really bad at smells. Let me just put that disclaimer out there. Um, I can't tell you like the tones or whatever, like wh what the undertones are or something like that. I'm just gonna tell you what my nose is picking up. Also, um, I don't like floral perfumes. Like I really don't like them. Uh, they don't sit well with my nose. So this one's got like a very manly smell, but it's like sweet. I don't know how to describe it, but I don't reach for this at all. I think my dad got it for me more like 10 years ago or something plus minus 10 years ago and it's still pretty cool so i don't reach for that hardly ever reach for that um the second one that i have is this little red dress now i had two of these i had the red one and the black one which is called little black dress and i really like the black one i finished it it's not in my collection anymore and this little red one um i mean i use it but i've also had it for like plus minus 10 years and uh, i don't know like those fancy powders you get with perfumes that are like perfume scented almost like that perfume called white swan they had uh, they had like powder come out with it this smells like that it's very sweet it's nice um, I don't reach for it but it's really nice I don't not like it the next one that I hardly reach for is this one um, I think it's called alien by Terry Mugler Terry Mugler whatever however you want to say it um, I won this one in a competition that Lachelle um, Aldridge now, um, she ran a competition a while back and I um, won. So I got this one from her, it came with a lotion, a hand lotion, really really nice packaging as you can see. I hardly reach for it, you can see how much is in the bottle, I don't know. It's sweet. I'll give you that much. I don't know. You can totally Google the the tones. It's got like a a wood something wood. Um, I don't reach for it too much. I'm a really sweet person. I love things that sell, smell sweet. Like, give me a perfume that's sweet. No hints of floral, and I'll be obsessed. Um. 
This one is called Rogue by Rihanna. I actually purchased this one. Oh. It smells nice. It's really light. It's not too strong. It's really light and airy. I don't know what it smells like though. But it's really nice and sweet. So I like it. I don't reach for it too much. I've had this for maybe like eight years now. I don't reach for it, but it smells good. It smells really nice and sweet. No floral in here that I can smell. Another one that I have here is this one. Now, you can see it's almost finished. This is called Chloe. I don't know what brand it's from, but I'll put in a picture. Now, I'll probably pop in a picture of all of these. But this one's called Chloe and it comes in a red box. I got it from Diskim and it's got a very distinct smell. I'm not a fan of the smell. I'm not like dying over the smell, but whew, I don't know what it smells like. But the reason that I bought it is because it's got like an oily um it's got an oiliness to it so when you put it on your clothing it the scent tends to stay for like days on days on days even after you've washed the clothing and i think it's because of that oiliness i don't know what it smells like <laughs> i can't tell you the next one that i have here is the ysl something paris I can't remember what it's called. I love the box. I love the the bottle itself. It's really nice and sweet. This is beautiful. I don't know, it smells like grapes or something. Like a grape fragrance. I don't know, I can't tell you what, what it smells like, but um, it's pretty full. I only recently took it out of the box and put it on my um, dressing table. I really like that one, it smells amazing. The next one that I have is probably the most expensive one here, apart from my favorite, favorite one. Um, this is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, beautiful packaging. How stunning is this? I bought this one maybe like five, six years ago. I don't like the smell, but um, I was so indecisive at the store. My father was ready to leave, and so I just had to pick a perfume and this one happened to be the one that I picked. It also happened to be the most expensive one of all of the perfumes that were picked. Go figure, right? Anyway. Ew. I don't like this one. I think it's got a floralness to it. Oh yeah, no. It's still full. Like six to seven years old still full don't like the smell but i use it because it was pretty expensive um we're down to the last three this everyone knows this bottle this is by juicy couture i personally think that their packaging gets me all the time so if it wasn't for their obscenely attractive packaging i probably wouldn't pick the perfumes as much as i do but I don't know which one. Oh, it says underneath. This one is Viva Le Juicy Noir. Oh. I don't know what this smells like. It's really, I, I can wear it. I don't know how much is in here, but I use it. This is, it's pretty heavy, so there's probably still a lot. It's probably more than halfway left. I don't know what it smells like, but I love the packaging and that's why I have it. Um, third place, we have this one. This is also Juicy Couture. This is called Viva La Juicy. That's all it says underneath. And this is the packaging. How pretty is that? I love, love, love this. They smell pretty similar. Okay, 
I can't tell you what it smells like, but I reach for these two more often than the other ones. My second favorite, my second, my second place perfume, um, just before my favorite favorite, is the Versace Eros perfume. All of these are um, Eau de Parfum, um, because the other one, the scent doesn't last too long on your on your person or your clothing so this one smells amazing oh my gosh I can't tell you what it smells like it's like fruity <sighs> hold up <laughs> it's like it's really sweet it's beautiful I'm obsessed I don't know what it smells like but this one is my top used one because I don't have my favorite one this is how this one looks and then my favorite favorite one is the Carolina Herrera good girl perfume I'll pop a picture up on the screen that one just smells like you're about to take over the world it's my favorite it's so good it is really tiny for the price like it's it's pretty tiny but the smell is worth it oh my gosh i would pay i would pay to get another bottle i have paid i've never paid for perfume by myself i've always had someone buy my perfume for me so yeah carolina herrera good girl is my number one followed by the Versace Eros and yeah I really hope this video was to your liking to the person who asked for it I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos you can also click on the little gray bell so it notifies you when I upload a new video um, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm very active on all three of those. And if you're on Facebook a lot and you want to see my videos like in your timeline, you can just like my Facebook page called Nicole Kamalo YouTube. And that'll ensure that you never miss one of my videos because it'll pop up on your Facebook feed. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Still don't have nails. So there's no sound, but bye.